Scorpio, I'm Ellie Rose for PsychicFuture.com and this is your horoscope from the 19th to 25th of November. So this week we have got Mercury doing its final retrograde of the year. Don't panic, it's not going to be too much, it's not going to be like as, quite as chaotic as the last one because essentially what this Mercury retrograde is doing is it's in Sagittarius so it's trying to help us focus on the future. So what is going to make us feel like we're evolving and growing and learning and being all that we can be? So this is ruled by Jupiter, which is all about expansion. So it's thinking about, yeah, how you can level up, how you can be the best you. So if you can just kind of go with the flow on that energy and answer those questions a little bit, you know, they don't have to be like, you know, for the rest of my life I'm going to do this, but, you know, perhaps having an idea of where you want to be going in life or at least what you want around you, who you want around you, what kind of work you want to be doing, this kind of thing, it'll be really helpful for the Mercury retrograde energy. So then there is a lot of water energy about as well as the fire and for you, you might feel this quite strongly because it's still your birthday season. Happy birthday if you've got one this week. And what we've got happening this week is Sun in Scorpio is going to be trying with Chiron in Pisces. So this kind of watery energy might bring up some old stuff like past wounds or hurts or times where you felt like a little bit emotional or you felt unwanted or you felt you couldn't trust people, you couldn't trust the world. These little things might come up this week in reaction to other things like your daily life. Maybe somebody at work is like, you know, a bit like a bit funny with you and it reminds you of some other time where you were hurt. So pay attention to these things because actually it's a very good time to be letting them go. So think about questions like, is this feeling still serving me? Do I need to feel like this? And if so, why? Like, how is it helping me? And what would I feel like if I could just let it go? And that will actually really help you because Chiron is this kind of like wounded healer energy. So it's like the place that you can really help yourself and you can grow from. So if you can just ask yourself little questions about any emotional wobbles you have, that will really help you with the energies this week. So yeah, if you need a bit of extra help, you can always call our Psychic Future Advisors and I hope to see you next week. Much love.